Hi everyone, this is Lisa from the Rhinestone World, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Glitter HTV and apply it to a wrapped canvas. This way you can get a glittered look on a canvas without the mess of loose glitter and glue. And we cut this design with our Silhouette Cameo. I have my wrapped canvas here and my name cut out. I cut this in Caesar glitter vinyl. This is an old gold and the design was just made with a circle and two offsets and then I just subtracted the name out of here. A very simple design that can take you less than five minutes. I went and cut it. This canvas is 12 by 12. So this design was set up as a 10 by 10. So I'm just gonna find my placement on the canvas. Kind of bring this over. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover it with a parchment paper. The reason why I'm doing parchment paper is just because I wanna see through it. Now our other cover sheets work very well, but they're a little bit harder to see through. So I'm gonna double check to make sure I can see. And when you do this, just be careful not to scratch your canvas with your iron. The metal can sometimes mark it up and make it look kind of gray. So we're just gonna go through and put pressure down on our canvas. And a lot of times with wrapped canvas, you don't have anything bringing it back up so I'm going to take a shirt to put underneath it. So here's a shirt. I'm just going to roll it up and place it in here. And so now we have pressure coming back up on this. So we're just going to press down. Do it for 10 or 15 seconds and then continue to walk your way through here. Now the great thing about something like this is that you're not wearing it. So the pressure even though it does matter to get pressure down on it, it's not as big of a deal as it is with shirts because if you don't have good pressure on your shirt, it'll come up in the wash. But this just needs to withstand the application. And you don't wanna to press too, too hard because then you're gonna get iron prints on your canvas and that kind of defeats the purpose too. So we did our first press or iron. So let's start, so you can see it's not staying down in some parts. We'll just lift it up, see how it looks. So it looks like it needs a little bit more time. So we're gonna focus on this side so this can stay and then work our way out. You can see it came up a little bit over here. So I'll smooth it back down and use my air, my iron right here. So I'm just gonna go through, check my edges. You can see this little piece came up. I'm gonna shift my shirt, make sure it's sitting well over here, press it down. And now you could probably do this in a shorter amount of time. I'm doing smaller presses so I can check it sooner, but once you have this down to a science, you can time it almost perfectly, almost like using your heat press. And it came up just a little bit over here. Not a big deal. So we're just going to smooth it out. Bring our parchment. Press down on this. Then I'm just going to take my iron and smooth it a little bit more. Just to make sure some good heat gets on here. Any sections that are lifting, we'll go ahead and smooth it back out with this iron. So you can inspect it. I have a little piece popping up here. The rest of it's okay. So go over here and use the tip of your iron to kind of do this. And then I'm just gonna take the edge of my iron here, go all the way through. So check this out. 
I have my glitter name canvas. So you can get this nice textured glitter look without all the mess of doing Mod Podge and loose glitter. It's easy to do, you can do it with your home iron and you don't need a heat press for a craft like this. So if you have any other questions, you can email us at info at the rhinestoneworld.com. Hey everyone, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss any tutorials or project ideas.